What's happening, Boomerites? It's good to see you again. Welcome to the movie reaction time. That's right. Today we are getting into Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, I enjoyed Monty Python's Life of Brian so much that I figured this one is a no-brainer. Uh, now on YouTube, it is going to be cut up the way it is. If you don't like that, you always have the option of Patreon, which I'm not forcing you to do it, but if you want to see the full uncut movie reactions, they're on there, folks. So you might want to check that out. Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I actually had a vote to... Uh, I wanted to do this one first, but I had so many votes saying you should do, check out Life of Brian first. Now, when I did the Life of Brian, I had a lot of comments um, saying that this movie isn't stupid, like you said it is. But I wasn't using stupid as, like, it's actually inept. You know, uh, in my... Not everybody in my generation in uh, the States, but quite a few, and a lot more among the younger generations. When we say something is stupid, we mean it's funny, outrageous, outlandish, and uh, nuts. So we're not saying, like, this is stupid, like, 2 plus 2 equals 3, okay? So it's just, you know, a little cultural difference there for you guys. But, um, because I do know it's very, very smart comedy, and I really appreciate the hell out of it. So... There's that. I just wanted to get that out of the way. But anyway, Mighty Python and the Holy Grail. Let's see what kind of interesting takes that these funny guys have on this uh, particular part of history. Well, I don't know if it's history, but it's legend. Uh, the King Arthur legend. So, and the Knights of the Round Table. So this should be very fun. Uh, remember to check below. Check that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit it, and then you, if you hit the notification bell, especially the top one that says everything instead of personalized, it'll let you know whenever a video drops on the channel. All right, well, enough chit-chat. Let's get into the laughs, and let's get into the movie reaction. I'll see you guys in there, okay? <laughs> Body Python is so different. We apologize for the fault in subtitles. Oh my god. Now I feel like I'm in a uh, romantic part of a James Bond movie. Sacked. Wish it to be known that they have just been sacked. Okay. <laughs> wow. These people are crazy, man. I love it. England, 932 AD. Oh my god. I thought it was a horse, but I was like, some it sounds like something's wrong with that horse. It is I, Arthur, from the castle of Camelot, sovereign of all England. I must speak with your lord and master. Isn't that a horse? Yes. You're using coconut. You've got two empty halves of coconut and you're banging them together. Throw. Where'd you get the coconut? We found them. Found them? Yeah, the coconut's tropical. This is a temperate zone. The swallow may fly south with the sun. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Will you go and tell your master that Arthur from the court of Camelot is here? A swallow needs to beat its wings 43 times every second, right? <laughs> Please! <laughs> But then, of course, uh, African swallows are non-migratory. Oh, yeah. They're just ignoring them. <laughs> oh, no, is he suffering from the plague? Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Here's one. Uh, Ninepence. I'm not dead. He says he's not dead. Yes, he is. I'm not. Well, he will be soon. He's very ill. I'm getting better. No, you're not. You'll be stone dead in a moment. Can't take him. I feel fine. Well, do us a favor. You can do. I feel happy. Ah, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, this King Arthur and his fake horse! Must be a king. He hasn't got shit all over him. That's the telltale side of a king. He doesn't have shit all over him. Old woman! 
Man! King of the who? The Britain, and I am your king. I thought we were an autonomous collective. <laughs> we're an anarcho-syndicalist commune. Can yes, you? I see. Be quiet. Major... I order you to be quiet. Well, how do you become king, then? The Lady of the Lake held aloft Excalibur from the bosom of the water. <laughs> That is why I'm your king. But you can't expect to wield supreme executive power just because some watery tart threw a sword at you. <laughs> just because some moistened bint had lobbed a scimitar at me, they put me away. Shut up, will you shut up? Come and see the violence inherent in the system. Help, help, I'm being repressed, bloody peasant. Oh, what a giveaway. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, eh? Did you see him repressing me? You saw it, didn't you? <laughs> Oh my. This movie's gonna be great. Is it gonna be better than Life of Brian, though? That's the test. Because that was really good. Oh! There's a battle going on. And this guy's just prancing along. The tall guy's gotta be John Cleese. My God! Wow, what a death! <laughs> Scalping shit is killing me. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Join me in my court at Camelot. Man, a few words. Come, Patsy. None shall pass. What? None shall pass. I must cross this bridge. Then you shall die. Stand aside. I move for no man. So be it. <laughs> Ooh. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Come on, you pansy. <laughs> it's so stupid. That in thy mouth. Ah, at you? <laughs> Look at him hopping around. Look, you stupid bastard, you've got no arms left. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> right! I'll do you for that. You're what? Come here. I'm invincible. Come on, then. Unreal. This <laughs> is. Oh, they found a witch, did they? But you are dressed as one. They dressed me up like this. Well, we did do the nose and the hat, but she's a witch. What makes you think she is a witch? She turned me into a newt. Burn her anyway! Burn! The hell is a newt? They're gonna end up burning her anyway. I know. I just know it. Why do witches burn? Because <laughs> they're made of wood. How do we tell whether she is made of wood? Build a bridge out of her. Can you not also make bridges out of stone? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah cool. Does a wood sink in water? It floats. What also floats in water? A duck. <gasps> a duck floats. If she weighs the same as a duck, she's made of wood. A witch! 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 I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Will you come with me to Camelot at the Round Table? I would be honored. The wise Sir Bedivere was the first to join King Arthur's knight. Sir Lancelot the Brave. And Sir Robin, the not quite so brave as Sir Lancelot, who had nearly stood up to the vicious chicken of Bristol. <laughs> the vicious chicken of Bristol. <laughs> oh. And did that really just how we know the earth to be banana sheep? <laughs> Look, my liege. Camelot. Camelot. It's only a model. Shh. 
Camelot! Well, that's the round table! <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Oh my god. I have to push the pram along. It seemed fun. What are you talking about, King Arthur? It seemed fun. Arthur, King of the Britons. Oh, don't grovel. One thing I can't stand, it's people groveling. What are you doing now? I'm averting my eyes, O oh Lord. Knock it off. Your knights of the round table shall have a task to make them an example in these dark times. Arthur, this is the Holy Grail. That is your purpose, Arthur. That is your purpose in life. Is this where the cool animation comes in? It's very late in the movie. The quest for the Holy Grail, yep. Oh my god. All the guys involved in this probably had so much fun making these. Hello! 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 Whose castle is this? Castle of my master, Guido Luamba. We have been charged by God with a sacred quest. If he will give us food and shelter... <laughs> uh, he's already got one, you see? He says they've already got one. It's very nice, sir. It's very nice! Uh, can we come up and have a look? Of course not! I'm French! I have this outrageous accent, you silly king! <laughs> Obviously, yeah. If you will not show us the grail, we shall take your castle by force. English pig dogs? Ah, blow my nose at you, so-called Arthur King. What a strange person. <laughs> yes, I totally agree. <laughs> I fart in your general direction. <laughs> <laughs> now this is your last chance. <laughs> Then I shall- ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> he bent the duck at him! <laughs> Yo, this movie's crazy! I have a plan, sir. John Cleese looks nuts as this this French knight or whatever he is. Is that a motor? <laughs> Yo, John Cleese is killing me in this. The hell is that? A chicken or a rabbit or something? Looks like a... I don't know what it is. Oh my god, they're taking it with them, so this is gonna be the Trojan horse thing. The Trojan horse deception. I thought that happened in ancient Greece. Lancelot, uh, Galahad, and I uh, wait until nightfall, leap out of the rabbit by surprise. Who leaps out? <laughs> If we built this large wooden badger... Uh-oh, they threw it back at him! Yes! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, the horse is dead. Pitcher for schools, take eight. Defeat at the castle seems to have utterly disheartened King Arthur. <laughs> Yo, these movies are great, man. Now this is what they did. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what am I watching? 
Sir Robin rode north, accompanied by his favourite minstrels. Brought forth from Camelot. He was not in the least bit scared. And his nostrils raped and his bottom burned His nostrils raped! That's enough music for now, lad. <laughs> I agree! Oh my god! Forget about strange and don't drop that mud! Ooh. Robin. Shut Ooh. up! Passing through. What, what do you want? want? I Shut am... up! Pass through, good tonight. I'm, I'm afraid not. not. I am a knight of the round table. You're, You're a knight, knight of the round table? table? In that case, I shall have, have to kill you. Kill you. Oh, I, I think, think kill it. Oh, let's be nice, nice to him. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> he's buggered off. off. So he has, he's scarfed. But I've been run away. No! Oh, what a movie, man. Galahad, okay. I was wondering what that said. Couldn't make out what the big letter was. I thought it was a C. Open the door! Hello. Hello. Welcome, gentle Sir Knight. Welcome to the Castle Anthrax. The Castle Anthrax? Not a very good name, is it? No. You are the keepers of the Holy Grail? Pair a bed for our guests. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Well, look, I, I... What is uh, your name, handsome knight? Sir Galahad. Mine is Zoot. In God's name, show me the grail. You are delirious. No, look, I have seen it. It is here. Sir Galahad, we are but eight score young blondes and brunettes, all between 16 and 19 and a half. It is a lonely life. Bullshit. Something... something weird is going on here. You may lie here, but you are wounded. No, no, it's, it's nothing. They're doctors? Dr. Piglet, Dr. Winston, practice your art. We must examine you. There's nothing wrong with that. We are doctors. <laughs> this cannot be. I am sworn to chastity. Back to your bed, at once. No grail here. I have seen... Hello. Hello. <laughs> Let's see how long he keeps his vows now. Zoot! No. I am Zoot's identical twin sister, Dingo. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Oh, I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it! <laughs> oh my god! This movie is crazy. We have but one punishment for setting light the grail-shaped beacon. You must tie her down on a bed. You must spank her well, and after you have spanked her, you may deal with her as you like. Spank me. And spank me. And me. And me. Yes, give us all a good spanking. <laughs> after the spanking, the oral sex. There's naughty videos out there that start with less. You're in great peril. No, that he was. isn't. Silence, foul temptress. <laughs> She's got a point. I can tackle this lot single-handed. Yes, let me tackle the single-handed. <laughs> The horniest girls in all the realm. Shit. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I love it, dude. Bet you're gay. No, I'm not. Meanwhile, King Arthur and Sir Bedivere, not more than a swallow's flight away. Is there like a werewolf turning the pages or something? I keep seeing this like animal hand turning the pages. Where is the Grail? The Bridge of Death. Oh, what was that? I'm sorry, but every time I see them do the cantering and stuff to imitate a horse, I'm going to laugh. I don't care how many times I see it. <laughs> Who are you? We are the knights. Who say? Nee. We are the keepers of the sacred word. Nee. Those who hear them seldom live to tell the tale. Knights of Nee, we are but simple travelers who seek the enchanter who lives beyond these woods. Yeah. Well, what is it you want? We want nee. a shrubbery. <laughs> So goofy, man. With a shrubbery, or else you will never pass through this wood alive. And we will return with a shrubbery. One that looks nice. Go! Oh my god, back to the historian that got killed. 
I think this might be wackier than the life of Brian. I really do. Oh my god, the people who... The Monty Python crew probably did so much LSD. Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Look on Cleo! And you, Cleo! <laughs> Bloody weather. <laughs> this is even nuttier than Life of Brian, I swear. Oh, wow, what a movie. Oh, this will be yours. Oh, what you can see stretched out over the hills and valleys of this land. <laughs> But father, I don't want any of that. And that's what you're gonna get, lad. Drungus castle in these eyes. But I don't want any of that. I'd rather sing. Stop that, stop that. What's wrong with her? I want the, the girl that I married to have something. Cut that out, cut that out. Make sure the prince doesn't leave this room until I come and get him. Not to leave the room, even if you come and get him. Until you come and get him, we're not to enter the room. I'll make sure he doesn't leave. And you'll come and get him. Yes. Right. You just stay here. I'll make sure he doesn't leave the room. All right? Yes. Did he just bark at him? But if he had to leave and we weren't no, no, with no, him... Just keep him in here and uh, make sure he doesn't leave. What? <laughs> yes, make sure he doesn't leave. Oh, yes, of course. I thought you meant him. Right. We're coming with you. Stay here. I'll make sure he doesn't leave. Oh my god. No singing! Oh, go and get a glass of water. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well taken, Concord. Thank you, sir. Most kind. And again? Over we go. Come on, Concord. Message for you, sir. Concord, speak to me. To whoever finds this note, I have been imprisoned by my father who wishes me to marry against my will. Brave, brave Concord. You shall not have died in vain. I'm not quite dead, sir. Well, you shall not have been mortally wounded in vain. Farewell, sweet Concord. I'll just stay here then, shall I, sir? The way some of these things are cut are just so so funny in, in itself. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've come to take it. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You got my note! You've come to rescue me! I knew that somewhere out there, there must be someone! Oh, stop that! Stop that! Stop it! Uh, I'm Sir Lancelot, sir. Did you kill all those guards? Oh, yes. Sorry. They cost 50 pounds each! You killed eight wedding guests and all! I thought your son was a lady. I can understand that. <laughs> I can understand that. You only kill the bride's father, that's all! Well, I really didn't mean to. I was in the forest, um, riding north from Camelot, Camelot. Very, very nice castle, Camelot. Uh, very good pig country. Ready! Would you, uh, like to come and have a drink? Standing. Um, say when I'm in this idiot, my son... Ugh. Oh. <laughs> well, a... Look at the chaos he caused! Oh, oh bloody hell. Sorry, you see what I mean? I just get carried away. I'm really most awfully sorry. Sorry! This is supposed to be a happy occasion. Unfortunately, my son Herbert has just fallen to his death. But since the tragic death of her father, he's not quite dead. <laughs> oh, he's died! Look! The dead prince! He's not quite dead. 
dead. You fell out of the tall tower, you creep. I was saved at the last minute. Ow! Well, I'll tell you. Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> He's going to tell, he's going to tell, he's going to tell. Quickly, sir, come this way. No, it's not right for my idiom. I must escape more. Dramatically, sir. Dramatically. I can't imagine how much fun these guys had making these movies, man. Is there anywhere in this town where we could buy a shrubbery? No, but we have no shrubberies here. If you do not tell us where we can buy a shrubbery, my friend and I will say... Ni. We will say... Ni. Ni. Ah! Ni. No. Ni. No. No, 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 no. It's... <laughs> Ni. That's it. That's it. You've got it. Ni. 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 Did you say shrubberies? I arrange, design, and sell shrubberies. That's the guy you want to talk to, then. We have brought you your shrubbery. It is a good shrubbery. We are no longer the knights who say... Ni. Ni. We are now the knights who say... Eki, eki. You must find another shrubbery! Another shrubbery? Huh? You must place it here beside this shrubbery, only slightly higher so you get a two-level effect with a little path running down the middle. It can't be done! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't say that word! Picking it in and packing it up and sneaking away... Oh, God. Surely you have not given up your quest for the Holy Grail? No, no, no. Far from it. Come back to this story and it's dead. Ooh, look at that thing. In the frozen land of Nador, they were forced to eat Robin's minstrels, and there was much rejoicing. I'd say they hated the minstrels. Here come the heroes. I would say it's strange to see an explosion in medieval times, but, uh... Yeah, in Life of Brian, we saw a spaceship, so... This isn't shocking to me. What manner of man are you that can summon up fire without flint or tinder? I am an enchanter. By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? <laughs> You seek the Holy Grail! Yeah, good job. Very impressive. Our quest is to find the Holy Grail. Uh, so uh, anything that you could do to, uh, to help? You're a busy man. Uh, yes, I can help you find the Holy Grail. To the north there lies a cave. Where could we find this cave, O oh, Tim? Follow! For the entrance to this cave is guarded by a creature. Death awaits you all with nasty, big, pointy teeth. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Behold the cave of Carpanov. Looks like an asshole on the ground. There he is. Is the rabbit? You silly sod! Well, that's no ordinary rabbit! You tit! <laughs> it's a killer! Get stuck! What's he do? Nibble your bum? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, boys, chop his head off! Right, silly little bleeder! What's the rabbit gonna do? Look! I like how John Cleese just magically reappears as his, uh, knight character. We have the holy hand grenade. Yes, of course! What the hell is that thing? How does it work? First, shalt thou take out the holy pin. Then, shalt thou count to three. One, two, five! What does it say? What 
language is that? It's Aramaic. It reads, here may be found the last words of Joseph of Arimathea. <laughs> he who is valiant may find the Holy Grail in the castle of... Uh... What is dead? He must have died while carving it. Surprise and alarm. My God! Run away! Run away! <laughs> Escape for Arthur and his knights seemed hopeless when suddenly the animator suffered a fatal heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh, what a movie! There it is! The Bridge of Death! There's the old man from scene 24. He asks each traveler five questions. Three questions. And what if you get a question wrong? Then you are cast into the gorge of eternal peril. Stop! Ooh, it's one of these guys again. Ask me the questions, Bridge Keeper. I am not afraid. What is your name? My name is Sir Lancelot of Camelot. What is your quest? To seek the Holy Grail. What is your favorite color? Blue. Right, off you go. Oh, thank you. That's easy! What is your name? Sir Robin of Camelot. What is your quest? To seek the Holy Grail. What is the capital of Assyria? <laughs> the Babylon? <laughs> yeah, what is your name? Sir Galahad of Camelot. What is your quest? I seek the Grail. What? What is your favorite color? Blue. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? He even got that one wrong. What is your name? It is Arthur, King of the Britain. What's your quest? To seek the Holy Grail. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? An African or European swallow? I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that was genius. That was genius. Bringing back that joke from the very beginning of the movie. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it when comedians do that, but it's... I, to see it in a film, that is something special. Intermission, it's the end of the movie almost, isn't it? Lancelot? Lancelot! Vikings? What is going on? Arc. There's the Holy Grail in there, though. We thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed to us the most holy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hello, daffy English knigget. We French fellows out with you a second time. In the name of the Knights of Camelot, open the doors of this sacred castle. Unplug my nose in your direction, sons of a window dresser. I'll wave my private pats at your aunties, you tiny brained whippers of other people's bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Walk away, just ignore them. We shall attack at once. After he left. Well, we know which ones are on the horses. French person, day the blood of many a valiant knight shall be avenged. We shall not stop our fight till each one of you lies dead. <laughs> Arthur gets arrested! Oh my god! What a movie, man. Wow, that's it. Unbelievable. That was wacky. I can't decide which one was wackier, uh, Monty. Python's Life of Brian or the Holy Grail? That's perplexing.
I can tell you, though, uh, I think I did enjoy Life of Brian just a little bit better. But this was fantastic. I really liked Holy Grail. Um, the, the, rap, the killer rabbit... <laughs> There's so many wacky parts to this, it's hard to single out just one. Uh, John Cleese, I think the best character was John Cleese's uh, French character. That character was so funny and so outrageous. And uh, that character prevailed in the end because the whole army got rounded up and arrested. So, uh, man, what can I say? These guys who worked on this film and the life of Brian probably had the greatest of times doing this. And they were probably loaded also. Um, I mean, they were made in the seventies. So, you know, seventies has people from the seventies have a bad reputation when it comes to uh, recreational use. So, or a good reputation in their eyes, who knows? But, uh, yeah, this was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I believe there's one more Monty Python film. So I can't remember the name of it, but I'll have to look it up and I'll have to eventually get around to it because I, I love this and Life of Brian. It's been a real pleasure to watch these. And, uh, you know, I, I'm surprised it's taken me this long to get around to it in my middle age. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm out of here, and uh, I think you got a pretty good movie suggestion. Why not drop it in the comments below, all right? Anyway, tell somebody you love them today, and I hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there, Boomerites. Peace.